Welcome to Technical Drawing. Today we'll see this sum in copy isometric. Now if you see length is 90, height is 14 plus 50, 40, 54 and width is 60. Now first we will start with the lower rectangle which is, which height is 40. So we'll go up by 14. So first we will draw this rectangle, height is 14, length is 90 and whatever is there in the front, the same thing is behind. Now we'll draw this circle. This is 30. So you take 30 from here, draw a line, find the midpoint and from that point we will draw rhombus of side 50 because diameter is 50. So we'll take half of this which will be 30. From there we'll draw a line. And from that center point, we will take 25, 25, 25, 25. And we will draw a parallel line. So we will get rhombus. After getting the rhombus, draw longest diagonal then this is point 1 2 m so join 1 to m same way 1 to m and from 1 you can draw an arc From 2, you draw an arc. This is point 3, this is point 4. So you take 3 to M and you draw arc. You take 4 to M and you draw R. Now we need to draw diameter 35. So same way what we will do, we will take 17.5 on both the sides. Same way here also and again we will follow the same procedure. This method is called four center method. This is point one, two, this is three, and this is four. Now, again, same way one to M, that midpoint, and you can draw R. Same with two, you can take two to M, then three to M. and 4 to M. 
so we are done with the upper circle now same way we have to draw it down also how much we have to go down you have to go down by 40 so first i'm drawing tangent then 0.4 i'm going down by 40 this is 4 dash or 4 whatever you want to write from 3 again i'll go down by 40 and from point 2 we'll go down by 40 now we'll do copy paste method where we'll take this radius from 2 and down from 2 we'll draw an arc 4 to M go down by 40 and again you draw curve three to M and from three you draw curve now we need to draw this rib so we'll take midpoint and we'll take 4 4 mm on both the sides So this is how we will get that slope. Then you draw a vertical line and this line. So remember one thing that behind portion we can't see. This will be tangent, only this much will be dark. Here this much will be dark. So we are done with isometric of the sum. I hope you people have understood this. Thank you.